Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we've been hearing from the news that there was more turmoil at the border between India and China. Um, maybe casualties on Indian side, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, the thing that gets us is what else? We hear the apps are being banned, but what else is being done? What else is Modi doing? Like we can't turn the other cheek when this happens. And then China comes out, Global China Times comes out with a survey that they're asking the people in China what they think about the Indian, um, India and, and the border issues. And they're basically saying that 70% of them say that India is being hostile against China and 90% say they support the government in retaliating against Indian provocations. This is what is happening, and yet every month, $5 billion India is paying in trade to China. Deficit, $5 billion, over $50 billion a year, a year, and they're killing your soldiers at the border. Just the other month, when the 20 soldiers were martyred at the border, $5 billion dollars went into China's pocket. Why? Why is there still trade? The apps is not enough. The apps is not enough. I don't know what Modi's doing, what politics he is playing. We definitely don't want war, but China, their, their people are thinking that Indian military is a joke and that they need to learn a lesson from China. This is what they are preaching to their people. This is what they're teaching their people. And when they get on the news, they're saying India is starting. They are, are provocating the Chinese. And that's why the China, that's why they're getting injured. That's why they're getting killed is because they're starting it. And we know from the US media, we know from the Indian media that that is not what's going on. What we want to know is what is Modi doing about it? What else is coming? 100 apps, okay, well, it's not really hitting them enough in the wallet. US did the 5G, got rid of Huawei's 5G with Taiwan, that's a done deal. That's huge. That's what we wanna see for Modi, just, big bigger we need the bigger picture india is not alone in this you have the quad you have japan on your side you have the u.s on your side you have australia on your side you have the u.s navy in south china sea you are not alone in this get together and start doing bigger stuff even the u.s we need to start doing bigger stuff to show china they are not in charge of the world they have set this virus across the the globe and people are dying left and right and there are no accountability for the ccp they take no accountability for this and this is what they're teaching the people in China, this is the news, since they're not allowed outside news, they're not allowed Facebook, they're not allowed Twitter, they're not allowed Weon, they are not allowed to hear the outside news. They are only getting what the CCP is telling them. So these things that are coming out in their newspaper, these surveys that are doing from the Chinese people, this is what they think of India. You know, although India is unlikely to start an all out confrontation against China, it will make trouble occasionally to, for Indian China border to rein them in. Really? This is the stuff that they're saying about the Indian army. And we know the Indian army is tough. We know it's, it would be a tough fight. I don't know one-on-one -on -one how much um, it would go down, but it would be tight. India has the backing of the West. They have the backing of Japan. They have the backing of Australia. You are not alone in this, but you need to take some actions bigger than like, oh, they moved over, so now we're going to tell them to move back, and now we got into another scuff. Now all their people think that Indian armies is a joke. Like, they believe that you rely so much on their economy that, you know, banning the apps is not really a big deal. Yeah. And they also believe that your military is weak, 
underdeveloped and corrupt and that there's no chance in over a hundred years that your military, that the Indian military could match to the Chinese military. No chance in a hundred years. More than half of their people believe no chance at all or it's gonna be over a hundred years. This is what they're telling their people and your soldiers are at the border and they're dying with these scuffles that there are no weapons being used because the Chinese are sneaky and you know that they have lied and cheated and steal. That's why we are not doing Kuwait here. We do not do the 5G. They are banning TikTok. Like we have gotten enough stuff stolen here in the U.S. from the Chinese. Another student went to jail for feeding information back to China. The U.S. is hopefully waking up to it. The world is hopefully waking up to it. The CCP, the CCP needs to be accountable for what they've done between the coronavirus and all the other things that have been going on in the world. There needs to be some accountability. But what we're more concerned about is the border issue with India, is that they're teaching their people that India is starting it. India's military is weak. They're poking fingers and making us you know, retaliate against them. And that they think that they can teach India's army a lesson. What is going on? Like, what are you guys doing to, to show them you're strong? They're like, India needs to stop beating its chest and pretending it's tough and listen and cooperate, yeah, with China. Really? Really? This is what they are teaching the Chinese people. And we know that this is how the CCP goes down. But what I wanna know, what we wanna know, like what is being done about it? You can't turn the other cheek when they're killing your soldiers and you're spending $56 billion in deficit on merchandise with China because you rely on their pharmaceuticals, their TVs, their computers, their cheap plastic parts. We do it here. We have $500 billion deficit here in the US. Why? Why? I don't know. I'm, we need to be like Japan and pay the companies to pull out of China and start bringing stuff either to India, bringing stuff home, finding other countries that will do stuff honorably and won't be hacking into your system to steal your information to cost you more money than you're putting in. You need to bring this whole app veneer by, that is what we want. Made in India, make it self-reliant India. But you have to start somewhere. We know it's gonna take time, but this is ridiculous that they are still pushing you on the border and there's talk and negotiations going on, but the Chinese are not listening the rest of the media is saying what India is saying. What comes out in the India media pretty much comes out in the U.S. media and around the world. But obviously what comes out in the China media is whatever the CCP wants the people to learn, wants them to know and understand. Even though they know half of it is not true when it comes to themselves, this is what the Tibetan prime minister had asked them, when it comes to your own information, what's going on in your country, when it's about you, do you believe it? Eh, sometimes they say. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not true. But when it's about Tibet, it's always true. When it's about India, it's always true. This is how they brainwashed the people. And there's so many things. It doesn't have to be war. Trade, 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 please, not free trade. Don't pay them basically to kill your soldiers. Fair trade. You will pull it out altogether. There has to be another way. They are relying on your money. This is, this is why they are so rich. They rely on the US and they feel like everybody needs them and all of the crap that they make. And we need to show them we don't. We don't need them for all of the junk that they make because half the time it breaks before you can use it long enough for it to be worth anything. It's not worth it. It's not worth the security risk that Trump talks about in the FBI. It's not worth the crap that you have to buy over and over again. This is how they get you. And companies need to wake up and pull out. 
and find places that have democracy and freedom of speech and places that have checks and balances where you know there's going to be a good result. If something goes wrong, somebody is going to be accountable. In China, you can't even sue them. It's like a joke. They try to sue everybody for banning their apps, but nobody can sue them. So, I mean... Uyghur Muslims, there's over 2 million Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps, in shackles, being sterilized, their women are being raped, and yet nobody is going to the UN, nobody is putting sanctions or resolutions on them, or calling it genocide. Why? What is everybody so afraid of? But India, please, I mean, you have to punch back hard. Uh, we know the army is strong. We know the air force is strong, but you need to prove to them that if they are coming at you, you are going full force and get in with these other countries. You know, you have the backing. We need to see more things being done politically even, but just something like we said, I don't want war, but this is like a joke. Like, dump the one china policy make it official everybody just needs to say we don't agree with that anymore you know recognize tibet hong kong taiwan as a free independent country uh, not connected with china when that one china policy out the window nobody should be doing that it's not 1960 it's not the back in the day when they could do stuff under the radar we can see in the border where they're moving their troops even though they say they're not starting it they're moving their troops on the line of control and then crossing over and they just keep inching that's how they steal the land they've done it before it's not a first time but you know resolution i want somebody to throw a resolution on COVID 19. there needs to be an investigation on this so many hundreds of thousands of people have died for it over two million people have the virus and yet there has been no answers none none but we want to know what modi's doing we want to know what else india is doing we can't let China get away with this and you can't pay them to kill your soldiers. You need to do something, something to get them accountable, to make them realize they're like a big bully right now. And they think India, do you see them doing this to the U.S.? Okay, they shot a couple missiles towards the boat, but they purposely didn't hit it, trying to be smart. But they no, they don't kill any U.S. soldiers. They don't kill any Japanese soldiers. Are you freaking kidding me? Because they know the retaliation that would come from it. With India, they think you guys are a joke. And we need to turn around and show them India is no joke. India will take you on fighter jet for fighter jet, soldier for soldier. Let's go. Like, so this is the time that China needs to be taught a lesson. There's a lot of inner turmoil in China. They are not going to start the war, but they think that they can get away with a lot of stuff. And hopefully the Quad, along with Modi G, can get it done. And we know it can be done. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think should be done. And hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.